Okay, so <clears throat> here is another one. Another immediate consequence of the uh, of the axioms. Um, once again, I'm going to need some spaces here. Okay, so this is saying for a finite sequence of mutually exclusive events, E1, E2, dot, 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 EN, this is a finite sequence. Uh, the probability of the union of EI, I going from 1 up to infinity, is the same as the summation I going from 1 up to N, not infinity, sorry, I, I going from 1 up to N, is the same as the summation I going from 1 up to N of probability of EI. Uh, so remember the ax axiom number 3 is basically the same as this equation except that in axiom number 3, we had an infinite sequence of events. Infinite sequence of mu uh, mutually exclusive events. So what I'm saying now is that uh, the same, same is true when you have a finite sequence of mutually exclusive events. Okay, how would, I, how would, you, uh, how would you prove uh, this equation? Anybody? How would you prove this equation? How would you prove this equation? Anybody? Uh, it's, you, you have to apply axiom number three for sure, but how, how would you apply the axiom number three? Anyone? How would you apply axiom number three? Any ideas? So you have the events E1, E2, dot, dot, EN, right? Let's define more. Let's define an infinite sequence of events. Let's let E n plus 1, E n plus 2, da da da. Let, let them be all the empty events. So E n plus 1, E n plus 2, E n plus 3, and da da da. I am, I'm getting an infinite sequence of events each one of them is the empty event. I, is that okay? And now I can apply the uh, uh, axiom number three by axiom three. Uh, I can say whoops I can say that the probability of the union um, I going from 1 up to n of EI okay um, that's the same as the probability of the union i going from 1 up to infinity of ei why is that because after the nth event all the other events are the empty events right so so when i put them in the union when i put infinitely many empty events in the union it doesn't change the union right so i could do that now i can apply axiom number three which says this is the same as the summation i going from one up to infinity 
of the probability of EI because the EIs are mutually exclusive um, okay so so far I have the probability of the union I going from 1 up to n of EI is equal to this infinite uh, sum that I have uh, I'm going to rewrite it as the summation I going from 1 up to n of the probability of EI plus the summation I going from n plus 1 up to infinity of the probability of EI I, I, I'm breaking up the series like this and then um, we apply the uh, axiom 3 again we apply the axiom 3 again and we say that well this is the summation I going from 1 up to n P of EI and plus now en plus 1 en plus 2 en plus 3 da 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 they are also mutually exclusive so i can apply axiom 3 again in reverse and i say that this is the same as the union i going from n plus 1 to infinity of ei well what is uh, what is the union of eis Well, the union of EIs is exactly the empty event because each event in the union is the empty event, so the union is empty, so that's probability of phi. But we have just proved that the probability of phi has to be zero. So, so I can say that the probability of the union I going from 1 up to n of EI is equal to the summation I going from 1 up to n the probability of EI you know plus 0 uh, because P of phi is 0 uh, is everybody okay with that so that's the that's the proof. So, um, so what what so what are we are getting here is that if you have a sequence of mutually exclusive events, then the probability of the union is the same as the sum of the probabilities.